Hey there, I'm talking to you. Yes, you VR pilots out there. Tell me something. Why are you spending money on peripherals like yokes, throttle quadrants, and very often overpriced VR headsets? Well, if you're like me, it's for one reason only, and that is you want to have a greater sense of realism, of being there, and of immersion. Well, let me introduce you to one of the big immersion killers. Here it is. It's the mouse. Yes, through muscle memory, we can interact with our yokes. We can interact with the levers and switches on our throttle quadrant. But when it comes to the flight instrument panel and the rest of the dashboard within the cockpit, that's where the immersion dies. And that's the big immersion killer for many of us that we've just grown used to. Welcome to the Sim Hangar. My name's Mark. Thank you very much for watching and let's get started. Well, I've been following FS Expo, as you probably know, and I've picked up a number of ideas, concepts that I'd like to discuss or perhaps ramble about in this video. And I'd appreciate your input and comments below so that hopefully a developer will pick up on some of the ideas and follow up. Firstly, a quick word from this video sponsor. The most expensive component in your VR headset are your lenses. Protect your lenses and your eyes with lens inserts. VR Wave can make lenses to your prescription, or maybe you don't wear glasses but want to protect your lenses. Then look to get blue light and anti-glare filter. This will reduce stress on your eyes, reduce the chance of motion sickness, means you can stay longer in VR. VR Wave produce lenses for most VR headsets. Link in the notes below. As a VR pilot, we need a more natural way of interacting with the flight instruments and the various knobs, switches and dials within the cockpit. And there were two things that I saw at FS Expo that didn't resolve this problem, but has given me some thoughts and ideas. And I want to share them with you. And as I mentioned earlier, invite your comments. The first one was from Honeycomb Aeronautical and their Delta flight displays. Now those flight displays for use in VR are no good to us. But the software being developed for these displays is being done by Sim Innovations. They're the people that brought us KnobFS, a very useful utility that allows us multiple different types of functions within the VR cockpit. Well, what Nikki said during the presentation is that you click on something with your mouse in the cockpit and then the physical knob becomes the controller for that on the display. Well, taking that thought and putting it on the back burner opens up a whole lot of different opportunities. The second one that piqued my interest was from a Hungarian company known for being a little bit quirky but very innovative and that's why and innovative in the VR space and that is why I've always kept my eye on them and in fact I've done previous videos on this company and that's your VR. Initially known for their somewhat odd and quirky bowl-shaped three degrees of freedom motion platform. Subsequently, the product has moved on and their VR platforms are far more traditional in terms of look and function. And uh, they also do a whole range of accessories and so on. But looking on their website, one thing that piqued my interest was their Cessna 172 cockpit. Now, this is aimed at enterprise market. Forget about the price point. That's just crazy. But the concept itself is really interesting. And that in combination with the sort of software that companies like Sim Innovations could bring to the market opens up a whole world of opportunity for VR pilots and for innovative de designers in the future. Let's have a quick look at an extract of one of their videos using the Cessna 172 VR cockpit and then we'll talk about this a little bit further. Uh, actually, I can also see my hands, which you can also see on the recording. This, and the virtual cockpit is calibrated or moving in sync with the physical cockpit. 
so I can touch and use all of the knobs and buttons very well I can find everything even though I'm wearing VR and let's see how it works and actually I can feel that the vibration has changed a lot by moving from the runway to the grass and that is coming from the simulator of course and another vibration is coming from the butt kicker which simulates the vibration of the engine well, there were a couple of really interesting things going on there in that demo. One, there was motion compensation in conjunction with calibration. So what you saw in the VR headset was directly synced to what physically was in front of you. In addition, there were physical dials and rotary knobs and switches that one could interact with. I'm also aware that your VR developing something called Infuse VR. It's something they call an embedded reality solution with a focus on hand tracking and also peripheral visualization. Now what that means in practice I don't know at this point but it's interesting that we're starting to head in that direction. So perhaps a combination of Sim Innovations type programming with a dashboard that is configurable ideally then that would be a big step forward for VR pilots. This concept of course is not new. Companies such as Authenticate have been doing this for some time but very much with a focus on the actual peripherals as opposed to the instrument panels themselves. I've done a number of videos on that and I'll leave links to these in the notes below if you're interested. Well, that's my ramble for today. I'm looking for hopefully some innovative designer to come up with a VR instrument panel or a VR dashboard, I suppose, and one that is configurable to one degree or another. And that would be the next step for VR pilots and raise the level of immersion by some considerable way. And I think for VR pilots it's worth mentioning this doesn't need to be tied to a motion simulator. A static cockpit, well, that'd do the job just fine to suit individual preference. Well, if you're stuck with this ramble this long, thank you very much. Stay well, look after yourselves. I'll see you all again very soon and bye for now.